hi guys uh, hope you are all doing well so in today's session we'll see how to add data types in app studio so one of our subscriber has asked me to just upload one short video on how to add the data types through app studio right uh, let us move on to the session okay so this is the app studio whatever we have you can see right so this is the app studio so here we have the left navigation where we have case steps and data types and all this so to add a new data type via app studio it's not dev studio it's app studio so just go to data types click on it and now you can see the existing data types over here so simply click on new you can see the new option here so click on this new button so this will ask you for the name of the data page so my data page sorry my data type name is citizen details and you can define the assets from so if you take address so this whatever the citizen details will be the child of the address class address data class in case if you take this so this will be built on the framework layer so you can see the class structure hovering over there o a b p s hyphen banking fw hyphen ui pages and if you take country so citizen details will be the child of country's data class so like this you have all uh, the existing data classes so in case if you take this implementation data class then this will be a dedicated data class which pega creates okay so just select it as this class and choose now and click on next now this is about the connection details which is related to the db so you have two options over here one is create new and other one is pega so if you are using an external database or external connect connectivities or you are fetching the data from external sources then you have to choose this and configure this part but now i'm just uh, choosing only pega because i need to create like a pega db so i want to store my data in the pega db itself so i'll choose pega and here you have a checkbox uh, to create a data model using spreadsheet so if you want to uh, create the properties or data model if you want to design through uh, bulk, pro bulk properties if you want to create so you cannot create individually one by one so if you want to do it through an excel sheet or spreadsheet uh, all in one uh, bulk process then you can choose this option okay and then click submit so now this will create your data type what is the data type is citizen details is the data type name so just need to save it here so this has created the data object so in app studio data type is nothing but it's a data object just save it and click on the data types now we can actually see whatever the data type that is created over here so if you open it here so inside this data type you can configure the properties okay you can add your fields here if you want to add any more properties you can do that okay let's say citizen name so this property will be created and the type you have to choose the type here so and these are the advanced uh, pro, i mean configurations like max length and all this so you can submit so this will create this property in the citizen details class now just save it so this is how you are going to create the data type so if you go to the dev studio so that will be the same like whatever the data type that you have added it will be created here and the data class also as well so we can see refresh it So this is your data class. Okay. So 
this is the citizen details class and the property which you have created will be reflected in the data model category of the property so it is a citizen name so this is how you are you are going to handle data types using apps to view which is very quick and fast as compared with the dev studio for minor operations that's it guys so uh, it's a short video so this is one of the request made by one of our subscribers so i am just making this video so thank you guys thank you